Some fishing tactics aren't just highly productive. They're downright, unadulterated, absolute, no holds barred fun to boot. We have just such a nifty walleye tactic to share with you with instruction from a 30 year veteran of the process. Seems there's a pretty spectacular new lure on the scene. In we go. And we are started. That is a beautiful average fish there, probably, what, 19, 20 inches? And this is one of my favorite situations in all of walleye fishing. I'm going to be pitching. We're going to be fishing um, Prairie Lake today, but it could be a reservoir. I fish these kind of waters from Ohio to, uh, you know, out east, especially where I was growing, I'm growing up in Iowa, the Dakotas. We're in North Dakota right now fishing one of these prairie lakes or prairie reservoirs. And it's such great fishing, and I love it so much because you're pitching. And I'm going to show you how to do this, a few tricks of the trade. So we're started. Beautiful fish. We'll save some. I'm going to save at least three as we get into them here for, for dinner. That one was caught on a number seven clacking minnow. So sort of raising a ruckus, shallow diving lure, but it's also a slow sinking lure. So in essence, it's a countdown, and it's always depth first. Got to figure that out, speed, and then vibration and everything else like color. But this, uh, in this situation, we've also got little noise because we've got dark water. There we go. Nice fish again, right by the boat. That's one thing in dirty water that you got to be watching for all the time. That is following fish. We just lift them up in here. It's always in this situation. A lot of times the water's going to be all, you know, a typical would be three to six foot water depths and you know that's a really nice average fish right there that's pretty much in these prairie lakes what you're looking for anywhere from you know 18 up to 25 inch fish really big fish are not all that common but you might get one as we work through the day but they hit hard they're aggressive and that's one of the reasons that I think you know in addition to the classic countdown Rapala and like the uh, the classic number five shad wrap which has a diving lip on it of course uh, this thing, which makes so much more sound in this dirty water, you know, a lot of times you want to be able to call attention to yourself, and this is one of those situations. This lure sinks very slowly, so it's one, two, three counts to get down to depth, and then pump it into motion. Just slow, steady retrieve for the most part, a few pumps every once in a while. And when you're pumping, what's happening is that not only, not only is the lure flashing intensely, but it's also giving off intense vibration. And at the same time, that noise chamber in there is giving off some intense sound. Oh, big walleye. That clacking minnow has been pretty strong so far today. Get the net on him. Here we go. Ooh, nice fish, man. Wow, he ate that big time. Beautiful fish, about 22, 22 inch fish. Nice average fish for these farm country lakes like this. And this is a gigantic one. It's actually about five or 6,000 acres. All right, we'll put this guy back here. And I want to just talk a little bit about rigging here as we move along, because you want to be able to make long casts, but you also want to be able to make accurate casts. So I've got, uh, a fused line on here. This is suffix fuse, 10 pound line. Again, this allows me to make long casts. And I got a six and a half foot rod. So seven would be really too long. Seven, you could make long, long casts, but six and a half gives me those long casts when I want them. But it also allows me to be pretty accurate. Oh, that one hit hard. That might be big fish of the day right there. Pretty. They can get a hold of it. Oh man, beautiful. Look at that. Incredible. Pitching is so much fun. You don't get gigantic fish, but five pound fish like this, pretty, pretty normal. And all across the country, all across North America, you're gonna find this situation. You get 56 to 60 degree water, these fish start pushing bait up against shorelines, any kind of break. We've got some rock in the trees right here. Man, oh man, 